What's up, everybody? If you're uh, watching this playback, if we caught any fish, the timestamps will be in the description and you don't have to watch the whole thing. You can just go down to the description and click on the timestamps. But if you're watching live, you gotta wait with me. What's up, Levi? Uncle B. Let's see if I can jack this up a little bit. There we go. Banking cats, hey, thanks. Appreciate it. What's up, mister? Thank you, mister. We're trying to make the uh, best of a annoying situation. Hey, Martin Orn, what's up from Ireland? What's up, Brian? Good to go, man. We uh, got here today and there was a bass tournament. Jeep, what's up? There was a bass tournament ending and a bass tournament about to begin and a catfishing tournament, which I knew about the catfish tournament. And so I couldn't find a spot to park. That was annoying. Got in the water. I caught plenty of bait, which is not a good sign. What's up, fly wax? Usually if you catch a lot of bait, it's easy to catch bait. Ooh, ooh, what's up, Jeep? Gold member for six months. Um, usually if it's easy to catch bait, that means that the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the fish aren't going to come easy. But we've been uh, battling with lots of boats. It's Saturday, tons of boats. And then, uh, you know, all these awesome cat fishermen know all the good spots out of the current or out of the main channel. So. That's all right, though. We found a little spot back here in a creek mouth. I've caught a few catfish here before. Nothing crazy, but today might be the day that crazy happens. So uh, we'll see. Goblin gear. You like the Hellcats better than the regular Catch the Fevers? Um, no, I like the Catch the Fever rods better, but these are anvil rods. Always love seeing you running it up. Yeah, man. I want to see you get out there almost to Lake Murray. Awesome. Hope you're having a good night. Thanks, Jinx. What's up, Greenwell? Tennessee Fishing, what's up? Oh, you're fine. Yeah, so there was uh, some cars parked in the trailer spots. And uh, one of them, the guy was just sitting in it with whoever. And, um, uh, and so I, uh, and I went up and I knocked on the window. I said, Hey, do you mind, you know, moving into a car spot? Cause there isn't any more boat spots. And he goes, um, my boat is right back there. He's pulling up and I'm saving the spot. I was like, that's not how it goes, man. I said, you know, this is this first come first serve. Well, he, this is his spot. And I may have lost my temper a little bit. We're not going to talk about what I may have done or said, but I was not happy. So I went and I parked across all the car spots. Like, I don't know, must be 17 of them. But anyway, I, I called Anna or I texted Anna. I said, hey, can you, when you get off work, will you run down to the ramp to, uh, to uh, move my boat into a spot so I don't get a ticket? And she said it was packed and shouldn't have a, shouldn't have a, a problem with getting a ticket since... There's a bunch of people up there. Let's see. Thank you, the pretty bunch. So what you're saying is there is a good chance that you're going to catch a ditch pick on a catfish rod. <laughs> hey, Levi. Firecracker, I'm good. Uh, you're fine. I actually wouldn't mind the... Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Merlo. I actually wouldn't mind the uh, boats too much, but they're running water and the spot lock wouldn't hold the boat. So I threw out an anchor and uh, the anchor wouldn't hold the boat. They kept popping my zip tie 
And uh, anyway, by that time I was frustrated and I was like, I'm just gonna go find a spot, a spot out of the main channel. And this is it. We got some friends over here. We got Mark Coburn over here. <laughs> I don't know if he's watching. <laughs> Probably not. They're in the catfish tournament. I did not enter the catfish tournament. I got all um, brim tonight. All brim. And I tell you what, I tore the brim up. I got a bunch of them that are bigger than my hand. I probably got 22, 23 brim like in an hour. It was crazy. chugging this water down it's been nice and nice and cool but i feel dehydrated just bluegills yep we need to cook some fish yeah cook them they in there but uh does it sound good guys Check, check, check. <laughs> What's the water temp? Like 83? Sent Anna to cut the valve stems. <laughs> sure. Big Slim, what's up? Uncle Jeep, 20 bucks. Thanks, buddy. MC check was loud. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is. I got to get used to it being so loud. Like when I, hey, David, when I holler, <laughs> it's really loud. So I should do this. Check, 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 check. One, two, three. This catfishing spot is a par four. He's throwing his nine iron anvil rod out there. <laughs> <laughs> for some milli vanilli i have a 10 aught I, I all of them but one are a 10 aught nocturnal nation um eclipse hook one of them is a smaller aurora hook i can't remember like eight aught i think Whew. we are in the cooper river in south carolina and this is kind of this is called farm creek it's the mouth of it Ooh, yeah, I'll take tacos. It is a big hook. I got a bunch of big baits out. Like I said, I got some hand-sized brim. So basically, I'm cutting the head off and cutting the tail off, and there's two baits right there. So did the punk in the car actually? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had quite a lisp. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, baby, take it. You know you want it. Take it, take it, take it. Something's down there jacking with it. That's not the kind of hit we want. Somebody's about to come out the creek here in about five seconds. He's going to be surprised when he sees me. Notice I said surprised, not thoughtful. <laughs> hey, Sogo. I said surprised, not thoughtful or considerate or anything like that. He's far enough out he didn't grab my line, thankfully. Now make sure you hit that thumbs up, guys. 
Yeah. Uh, the Pretty Bunch, it's a um, Minn Kota power drive, 70 pound thrust, 24 volt system. I like I like Nocturnal Nation hooks. They're uh, they're really really sharp. Like you gotta be you actually gotta be really careful. What's up, Brandon? Uh, the lighter action anvil rods. So these are medium heavies. He's got the he's got all the graphite ones in. He's just waiting on the S glass to come in before he opens them up for retail. Yeah, I don't know what that was biting that on that rod, but it wasn't a big catfish. So good. Hey, Bill. Thanks, man. Relaxing after driving straight through Florida. <whistles> yeah, I had to go up to school this morning. Then we hydrate. <laughs> then we hydrate. While we wait, we hydrate. That's money, dude. Had to go up and, uh, what's up, Doc? Go up to the school and supervise some kids painting their parking spots, but I sat there for 30 minutes. One of them showed up and then drove off, and the other one didn't show up. Do you believe in the Holy Lord? If it's Lord Jesus, I do. Lord Jesus Christ, are you feeling better? Are you asking me? Yeah, I feel fine. Oh, art, okay. Well then, yes, Jamie. Do you? thought you did. How's the signal? Are we fuzzy? Are we five, five by five? Good. Amen. Maybe after dark, after the uh, after the pleasure boaters and stuff settle down, we'll think about moving out in the main channel. But I just can't do it. I can't deal with uh, with all the boats, man. It's crazy. What's up, Nathaniel? But I got eight rods out. Hey, Brody. Eight rods out. All of them have cut brim on them. Actually, they're... Yeah, watch out for the mud boats. Uh, two and threes, Levi. Yeah, they're actually all bluegill. That's all I caught was bluegill. They're stacked up in a little hole. They might have been bedding down there, but I didn't catch any, like, giant copperhead brim. But some some big ones bigger than my hand. You are the best YouTuber. Well, thank you. I'm glad you think so. Hopefully, hopefully one of these days I'll be the the best fishing YouTuber. <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to get bloated. It's too much water. Oh. Glad to see you've come around to using bluegill. I've always used bluegill. What are you talking about? Let's go for a drive. That's kind of weird, Jamie. You mean like a boat? Boat ride? Uh, I'm not I'm not fishing too late because I'm serving at church in the morning. 
Um, I wasn't going to go last night like I've been doing, but it was really, the weather was really bad here yesterday. How can I do fishing YouTube channel? Just start doing it, man. Start doing it. Yes, I've used green sunfish. Let's get you a fishing pole, point your camera at the water, and throw the line in. And sign up for a YouTube account. I guess you have to do that first. Kalamazoo Cat Daddy Catfish Tournament on River or Moultrie. Uh, the there's a catfish tournament right right here on the river, and there's a uh, Daniel Goggin and Mark Colburn Colburn right there. Oh, moving moving the uh, tide just changed. Well, they think it's changed. I think they're still running water, but they said they were going to go down to the other side and fish this way. You mean when you said the best spots are taken? I mean like, I mean go get. Don't ask if you can. Yeah. Got some time with catfish rods after watching your glow in the dark video. Nice. Yeah, those uh, Tamil catfish is a good rod. It's a really good rod. I'm going to check this bait. This is the one that something was nibbling on down there. For that reason and because it's got a piece of grass on it. Alright, bait looks good. Yeah, something was down there tearing it up. Ooh. That was the feeler. I think it tore up. Lucky I got plenty of bait. <clears throat> Yeah, most of the ones I got are about this big, but I got some that are bigger than that too. It was fun. Probably should have went live and just brim fished. Right. I got the clickers on in case, I'm, in case I'm talking to you guys and I don't see one take off. As soon as the uh, sun goes down, we're turning on these black lights. These rods are beautiful in the black light. Beautiful. Yeah. Anybody else did any fishing this weekend?
I'm trying, Chris. I did. I go fishing every day. Man, that must be nice. Oh, you got COVID. I didn't know that. Sitting in tall, tall creek. What black light are you running? Man. So I, I it's in the it's in the description. I put the link in the description. I remember from last time people were asking me and I couldn't remember what they were. Link in description. By the way, thanks for being a Christian educator. Oh, you're welcome. Hartwell last night hitting clocks on Tuesday. Mmm. Yeah, it hit me pretty good, but I had the OG. What's up, Ernie? Hope you're feeling better, buddy. What's up, Rob? Yeah, so I'm hoping that these fish coming down this creek right here Hopefully they're still coming out or if the tide's shifting, they'll come in. And there's another creek right there. And it goes around the corner. Make it to go on Monday. All right. But we'll probably stay here till... I don't know. I'm not fishing that late tonight, so... Ah. Oh, Martin! Been a member for 12 months. Boom, boom. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey, Halo. It's like the fish know whenever you go live. <laughs> Got to put some liquid gold in that 18 wheeler. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd like to be out in, in the main channel. Like I said, there's still a lot of pleasure boats. It's Saturday. I hate fishing on Saturdays in the in the summertime. I just, I can't stand it. But I didn't get to go last night. I almost didn't go today, but I made myself go. I made myself go. Who thinks you go to a busier spot? What's up, Grande? Mm -mm -mm. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, guys. After your morning having to wait around. Yeah. It was so nice this morning, too. It was like 60s. It's going to be nice tomorrow, too. I don't think, I think the high tomorrow is like 83 degrees, which is really good for us. But I like to be in the main channel where the current's running and everything. And maybe I'll go there. We'll give this spot a little time. Then uh, then we'll run out. I'd like to use my new um, Monster Rod Holder T-Bars in the back. Check them out, guys. I got those installs installed. So that when I'm spot locking in the river, I can have those uh, back there. And it'll be easier to see the rods. I got them installed up here. There's one right there and one right there. Those are awesome, guys. Monsterrodholders.com. That's the pontoon corner T-bar. They've always had the T-bar, but never for pontoon boats. Oh, got to trim that motor down, Mark. <laughs> yeah, they, they were moving because they thought the tide was changing, but... I don't think it's going anywhere right now. I think it's, it's slack tide. Slack tide?
if you consider starting a towing service. <laughs> What's the biggest catfish you ever caught? Oh, I've caught a 52 pound blue cat and a 43 pound flathead. Those are my PBs. You have three on your boat, nice. Keep your eyes on for 150. Uh oh, that's not good. I've caught a couple good fish from this spot. Not any, not any monsters though, but it, it doesn't make sense that they would be in here because, uh, you know, you guys will see me, those of you who have been watching for a while, this is the creek that I drive up in the little creek. Uh, Art's been in this creek before, but I'll drive up in it about a half a mile and there's a little 12 foot hole there and we'll, we'll uh, anchor up on the side of the creek and throw in that hole. And I've caught some bigger fish, some 20s, you know, not, not anything bigger than that. 25 or 20, no, 28 pounds. That was the biggest one. Now, my dad has caught some bigger ones back here. He says 50s. So, it makes sense that they would be coming in and out of this creek to feed. I remember. You remember? I remember. <laughs> Got 66 people in here. 42 thumbs up. Uncle G threw down the $20 dolo. Thank you, buddy. G Horn here from work. Nice cypress stump there, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about the one right here? Right under me? Years ago, what's up Big Mike? Years ago there was a shellcracker bed right here on this corner. And we tore, actually Anna, that's the first time I took Anna fishing, was right here. She probably remembers, she probably knows where I'm at now. But um, they were in like two feet of water, just piled up, I mean, by the hundreds. And uh, my dad had sat here all day, dad and my cousin, and they slaughtered him. And then uh, I came out with my friend Thomas the next day, or no, that same day, and we slaughtered him right there with him. And then the next day, me and Anna went out and we slaughtered him three days in a row. By the Couton Corner. And she was just, she was snatching them in there, hitting the side of the boat. Bow, bow. I see somebody out there trying to anchor in the main channel. <laughs> What's up, D. Harris? We're just trying to catch us a old, old slimy catfish, that's all. Just one. Well, let's start with one. Thanks. I like it too. I got the monster rod holders on the new pontoon corner T bars, anvil rods, PC fun reels, suffix superior, monofilament, tough bite on a northeast wind. Yeah, tough bite on a, on a, uh, pleasure boat or Saturday and a current that's been pushed 16 miles an hour. Let's go, let's get one, yes. I would have loved to get on a shellcracker bite. I was early this year. Yeah man, we got on them this year too, it was fun. I'm telling you that right around the corner there, I, I slaughtered the brim when I got out here today. Thanks, Ernie. I could have stayed there until dark and caught brim. It's probably what I should have done and just gone live over there, but my brim buster don't glow. <laughs> I got the... Um, shallow water anchor in the front and I just got the uh, hey Jim I just got the boat pressed up against the bank there's no anchor in the back or nothing it's just uh 
just pressure. But I got fresh bait up. What's up, 3B? Freshest bait you can get. I'm gonna keep it, keep it fresh. Put some water in there real quick. We're just waiting on one to swim by. You only need three more rods. I got eight more at the house. I got eight more anvil rods at the house, the heavies that I was using. And I got all the rods that I'm gonna be selling. If anybody's interested, pick up only. Uh oh. Pink rod might be doing something there. Sneak up on it. What you th what you think there, Pinky? What you think? Thinking about going down, huh? Huh? You thinking about going down? Yeah, that's what I thought. Watching you, Pinky. Got all kinds of things jumping around the boat. Whew. I was close, guys. I was close. What's up, Brooks? We oxygenated him. Be very, very quiet. Soon, uh, soon go to two XXX. The weather, if the weather starts cooling down like it is now, like, like I, I might be going sooner than later. I'm ready to be camping. Sprinkle, boo, 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 hoo, hoo. Yeah, I sold the abus. What's up, Brandon? No reels to sell Artemis, but I got two Hellcats. I got a Mad Cats rod. I got Tangled with Catfish rod, Whisker Whip. Um, two Big Cat Fever rods. One of them's a medium, one of them's a medium heavy. But yeah, the camping's coming soon. Like, I can't wait. I mean, I love fishing, but I just got back from a three week camping trip. It was awesome. Wow, three weeks? Man, that's like my dream world right there. Snag. I bought. Yeah, I bought your old whisker seeker grips at CatCon. Oh, okay, cool. I have a. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of that one. I got the catfish and carp whisker seeker rod. Have you ever had a fish take the rod out of the rod holder? Yeah. <laughs> well, not out the rod holder. No, I'm not. I'll sell them however, Tennessee fishing, but I'm not shipping them. Unless you pay the shipping, which is going to be like 50, 60 bucks. Um, actually, right over here 
on this corner is where I got the idea to start chasing trophy catfish. I was in my little my little uh, low bass boat, and I was just brim fishing on the corner, and uh, I was just getting ready to go. You know, I threw the catfish rods out. I had some uh, green shad from Walmart, like the worst bait you can get, or red or green shad, and I threw it out there. And I didn't have any rod holders, so I set it in the bottom of the boat, not thinking that I was going to catch anything. And then uh, sitting there piddling around, and I heard boom, boosh, and the catfish uh, had pulled the rod out of the boat and in the water, and it was flying away. Um, like there wasn't no getting it. It was gone. So right here, right in this area somewhere, there's a, a Shakespeare contender uh catfish combo spinning combo yep and that from that time from then on i was like oh yeah i need that in my life because i've always i've always catfished but never like chasing like hey ace never chasing big cats we just like we uh took whatever we caught and if they were big they were big we didn't like target big ones. I'm getting a lot of little little nibbles and stuff, which I don't like. Oh, that was yours. I found it and still hooked up the fish. <laughs> hey, wild turkey. And I keep seeing stuff on the screen. I dropped my fishing pole in the water one time when I went to cast. It flew out of my hand. Oof. I had a brand new 6500 BCF knock on the boat at Harry's Fish Camp. Yeah, that's... Now I have, uh... I've lost, I've lost one going down the, the diversion canal. I was in the bass boat and I had it, I had it in the rod holder riding down the the canal and I wasn't thinking again man them catfish guys are stacked up right there where I usually fish and uh, right in the middle of the channel so the current must have got better we might slide out there but um what was I saying oh and I had a big boat come by and it popped me up real high and I came down and the rod went out in the water it was I still never told dad so if you're listening I'm sorry it was the old um, an old ugly stick with a Shimano spinning reel on it. It was my favorite one because it was loud. It was really loud. But that went in the water with eight ounces of weight on it, so they're 30 feet. There wasn't no coming back from that. Yeah, there's like six boats anchored up in the canal. <laughs> it's getting dark. Never again. Yeah, I might move out there, guys. What do you say? You want me to move out there or you want to stick this spot out for a little bit? If we move, it's a lot of reeling in. I got to reel in eight rods. And we got to, you know, move and all that stuff. Oh, there's a bat. Okay. Love you. Those green rods show up nice. Yeah, they do. I like to I like to uh for you to see see what they look like bent over with a fish on it. Shows up really good at night. And that black light on these. That's what they look like without any 
any other light on them just a black light these are anvil rods they'll be available soon hopefully you got fishing what does that say I don't know what that is thanks Brandon yeah I just got it dialed in a few weeks ago just got it dialed in to where I can put the camera so everybody can see it and it'll look similar on the back uh, without the center rod holder down the gate of course so I'll only be able to fish six out the back but those are monster rod holder corner t-bars did you got a fish nope I did not get a got a fish not yet But we might move to the channel here in a minute. The main channel. Try to hook up. I got one rod over here hung up already. That's not good. My bait's gone. I think we'll hold off on putting that one back out until we decide what we're gonna do. Night, Levi. Let's give it 10 more minutes. So it's what? 8:34. Let's say let's say 8:45. We'll move out to the to the main channel see if we can't score a, a fat cat. At first I thought those were lightsabers. <laughs> yeah, Jim, let's give it let's give it 10 minutes. There's a whole bunch of fish activity around. Lots of things jumping, lots of things feeding right now. That could spark a bite. Hopefully, please, Lord. One hundred seven gallons, five hundred sixty-six dollars later. I'm back. Did you get anything while it's gone? No. <laughs> You must be on the road. Good night, Levi. Thanks for stopping in. Sorry, didn't see any catfish. Got a lot of people that, um, is this the new Smyrna Beach mangroves? <laughs> uh oh, fish on out there. They might have a fish on out there. Yep, I think they got a fish on. So the guys right out here, right out here in front of me got a fish on. They're fishing the tournament. Been truck for 20 years. My stepfather drives uh, semis. Get it, Mark! Get it! <laughs> oh, well, you, you, you're seeing a fish. Well, you're not seeing it. Fish is coming in. <laughs> Holy lightsaber. Yep, they got they got their skunk off. My turn. Tis my turn to get rid of the skunketh. 
tis time for Rod to bow over and load up with her tank. Do I drive? What? DOT drive for CRST. I made that mistake. Thanks, Brandon. And like I said, we're gonna we're gonna do 8:45. We're gonna move triple up and T minus. Ooh, that'd be fun. That would be fun. That would be delightful. If we could triple up. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, guys. Bait casts and reels. Yep. These are all. These are all PC Fun Chaos reels. Um, some of them are 60s and some of them are 50s. I got the link to them. Ooh. The only bad spot, part about where they're sitting. I got the link to them in the description with a discount code. Look at all those glowing rods. Yeah, Steven, check it out. No fish yet. What's up, Cody? Six minutes, we're gonna move to the channel here, see if we can't find something else. But if we do, we'll fish out the back. How many pounds of drag? I think it's uh, 28 or 27 pounds of drag, maybe. It's way more than you need. Where's the white perch maniac, Bill? Uh, I didn't call him today. I just kind of wanted to come out. I wasn't sure if I was going to come out number one. And then I was really slow getting out here. It's uh, low tide right now. I just switched. It's coming in now. So, if I didn't have a plan, I didn't want to bug nobody without a plan. That gets annoying. I just took my sweet time and got bait, or got crickets and fueled up. And Although I could have used somebody to help me back the boat in because there was craziness down there today. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm way below the dam. About three or four miles, four or five miles probably. So it's good that we waited, guys, because I don't know if you can hear all these bass boats. But they're going to their way in. And they don't care that Mark and Daniel are sitting right there. They're blasting right past them. So dangerous. Like, just slow down for a second. Gadget, what's up? Eh, I'm not going to sit here and complain. I already, I already ran my mouth earlier today. Everybody sins, right? If you if you didn't come in in the in the beginning, there was a two young people, younger people in a uh, in an SUV, and when I got to the boat ramp, there were a bass tournament weighing in, and then there was a one about to start, like they're about to blast off. So it was super busy. There's also a catfish tournament getting ready to start. So I backed my boat down and I tied up to the uh, to the dock. And then I, I drove up and there's like 250, 300 parking spots. I was like, there's got to be one, right? So I drove up all three rows and there wasn't one. And a lot of the spots, well not a lot, there's several spots filled up by cars. And one good thing about this, this parking, this boat ramp is that when they rebuilt it, they made a hundred car parking spots or 50 or hundred, something like plenty. And Cars are just parked in the boat boat spots. Um, so one of them, they were sitting in the car, and I, w I walked up, or I pulled up behind them. Oh, I heard something. That was them. Pulled up behind them, got out, tried not to scare them, stood my distance from the window, and I just kind of waved at them. 
and they uh they opened the window and i said hey guys would you mind parking in one of the car parking spots so i can pull my boat trailer in and the guy said well our boat is right there he's pulling in i said well i'm here now he said, well, our boat is just pulling in. They had forgot some stuff, and they went back to get it, and so we're holding the spot. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, he dropped it. Something hit it. Anyway. I uh, I fussed at him. I said, uh, well, I didn't fuss at him. I said, that's not how it works. You know, I was calm at this point. I said, it's first come, first serve. And they rolled up the window. So I went back around and I couldn't find a spot. And I ended up, it was another five minutes. And keep in mind, my boat's down there like blocking everybody. I, uh, way in the back, there was a bunch of car spots not taken. So me and another guy pulled long ways across the car spots because that was the only place there was to park. And then when I walked the half a mile back up, they were still sitting in the car and nobody was there. And so I looked at them with a sarcastic look on my face and I was acting like I was searching for their other, their, their boat. And I said, oh, he's right here, huh? He's right here. Thanks a lot. And uh, I may or may not have flagged him down. That was a weak weak point for me. But I was so frustrated that people are just so are just so inconsiderate sometimes. I might have to get the bug spray. What's up, Bandit? I wonder if I brought any. I'm uh, known to forget the bug spray. I'm internationally known to forget the bug spray. Oh Lord. Aha. Got some this time. Of course, it's probably too late. All right, at least I remembered it this time. got the Rippin' Lips Super Catfish Special. Oh yeah, I got one. I got two of those too. Yeah, I'm trying to fish. I'm definitely fishing, that's for sure. That glow never gets old. Alright guys, it's, uh, it's time to move, so y'all gotta bear with me. And um, I got to reel in eight rods or seven rods, and then we got to move. But hopefully, we'll catch some fish when we move.
that river in the net. <laughs> All right, I get this anchor pole out of here. These things are hard to deal with unless you stow them, but we're gonna put this one off to the side. I'm gonna trip all over that, I know. All right, we got a trolling motor out of here. Bugs love that light. We're gonna troll past our friends here before we crank up and move. Ooh, you got a fish. I'm gonna come fish right there. Good luck, fellas. Yeah, I'm getting eat up. Eat up with bugs, not fish. Yeah, we haven't got it that yet. We got that one fish in the boat. I was hoping we was bigger. Well, is he about 10 pounds? Yeah, maybe about 15. He ain't no bigger than that, though. Yeah, well, good luck, guys. I'm going to try the main channel now that most of these boats are gone. All right. Yeah, them bass boats are weighing in at night. They should be done now. Yeah, that's what I was kind of waiting on. All right, guys. Mm, I'm just going to put it on the rods, guys. That's prettier anyway. All right, let's roll. We're gonna take it slow because I don't know how fast I can go with these black lights on. No, we're not going to be out all night. It's just me. 
probably another hour or so. I'm gonna go out to the main channel, spot lock, throw in some baits, see if we can't catch a fish. And I'm headed back home. We got church early in the morning. I'm working the uh, online sound for the online service. Hopefully there's a little breeze blowing out here to keep these bugs off of me. And to the person that asked when I'm going to do camping again, uh, that's why I'm waiting on this cold weather because I can't, uh, thanks, uh, thanks JR. I can't, um, I can't deal with the bugs. All right, guys, I'm not going to pay attention to the chat. I'm going to try to keep safe and focus on the water. So, There's a whole lot of bugs out. Those of you just coming in, we're moving to a new spot. Not too much farther now. All right, some guys are in the spot I was gonna go in, so we're gonna go over here to the other side. It 
See if we can't spot lock and drop it. Chica, chica. Well, they weren't in the spot I wanted to be in, but they're... Oh, no, they're not even close. Okay. I was looking at the wrong place. I mean, this is a good spot, too. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's go back to the other side. Almost there, folks. Almost there, about 50 more yards. Then we gotta transfer everything to the back of the boat. Cause we're gonna be fishing out the back, y'all. All right. All right, we'll turn you guys around. Hey, hooks and hammocks. We have to move all these rods to the back. Oh. 
and the black lights too. I didn't even think about that. So many options, so much room for activities. The only thing I don't like about fishing out the back of the boat is that you got less, well there's a couple things, you got less room to move around and uh, less room to move around and your bait is still up front. Ugh. All right. Bait is still up front. All right. That one's gonna go there. That one's gonna go there. All right. All right, now I'll blue the black lights. Black lights make so much difference. Gotta be careful I don't drop them in the water though. <laughs> That would suck. These things aren't the cheapest thing in the world. But I like them because they run off of battery power. Rechargeable. That's why I like them. I don't have to run the wires. Ooh, that's bright. There we go. I think that's it. Let me grab me a, a water. Oh, and a net. Yep, we need a net. Net's coming. Oh. All right, got the net. Got the water. All right. Chunk some baits out. Oh, let me hang on to the tripod. Yep, uh-huh. Almost went over. See, that's one of our cat fishermen too. He should know better than to plow by like that, but that's all right. I might need to put the drift sock out. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it holds. Less gear I got to get out, the better, because I'm not fishing all night long.
It was deep out there. I like it. That means I got off the ledge. All right. I got way too much bait. I'll never use it all. So I, you hear the clickers. I do have clickers on, but the reels are engaged. Um, I do that when I'm live streaming or whenever, so that um, if I'm not paying attention to the rods and I get a takedown, if it pulls any bit of drag, I'll hear it. So I still got the drag set pretty tight because I want the fish to hook up. And I'm also fishing a current, so if I just had only the clicker on, then the clicker would be going non-stop probably. Oh yeah, I like that thud. Over here on the left is a bunch of old pylons and stuff. Awesome. All right guys, just like that, we're ready to fish. We can back this camera up here. There we go. Let's see what looks good there. All right. What's up, seven forty? Here we go, guys. We are fishing. I told you I'd trip over that. <laughs> That's okay. You on the Cooper? Yep. I am on the Cooper. Just got set up in spot number two. It'll be our final spot of the day. What's up, Bobo? Nice fish last night. <laughs> I'm telling you, I slaughtered the brim when I got out here today. Slaughtered them. I'll turn this light off. Oh yeah, much better. Yep, it's time for a takedown, baby. We're in current now. Set up on a channel ledge. Let's see if I can... Still trying to dial in this, um, this angle here. I guess that's as high as it goes. Um, no, not really. Yeah, I do see some bugs around it. You're right. One second, guys. I'm gonna get my other phone so I can pop a squat. Oh. Of course, this is when the takedown is gonna happen. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll get back to chat, guys. Oh yeah, that feels good. All right. 
right. Is that red light the exit sign? No, that's um the back of the black light. All right, let's see. What do we got? LOL. <laughs> Make sure I hit the thumbs up. 92. I was number 92, guys. Looks like we could turn turn the camera a little bit this way maybe or did I have to go the wrong way yep I went the wrong way this way got to get them fishing rods dialed in there we go oh take down look at that peel and drag oh all right guys all I had to do was adjust the camera <laughs> Woo! Love that takedown. That was a good one. He's rolling like crazy. He's still pulling drag. All right, man. He's rolling. I don't know how big he is. Make sure he doesn't get in them stumps, though. I got to keep him up out of them stumps. Let's go. Oh, he's swimming upstream. You stay out of my engine, fish. Yes, main channel, baby. That's why I love it. All right, I see the leader. Oh yeah, he's a decent one. Not enormous, but. All right, I got the net right here. Oh, look at him bend that rod, guys. Woo! Awesome. Hopefully you guys saw all that. Now, where did I put the net? It's up here somewhere. Here it is. All right. Oh, try to net him out the back of the boat in current. <laughs> this is when having a partner really comes in handy. But I can do it. Kind of need a light back here, to be honest. I think he's in there. Are you in the net? <laughs> I think he's in there. Yeah, he's in there. Oh yeah. He's a good 15 pounder. Right on, fishing the boat, guys. Here you go, I'll move the mic. <laughs> right on fish in the boat we got a fish in the boat the skunk is off he got big head on him i still don't know it might it could be a flathead i think it's a blue though i can't see nothing back here all right i think we're free of the net i'm banging everything Oh yeah, that's a blue cat. I hear him grumping. Grumpy, he's grumpy. All right. There we go. Shed some light on the situation. All right. We got a fish. Oh no! There's another one. All right. Woo! That's why I put that clicker on, guys. Nice, nice blue cat. Please don't stab me. Bite is on, bite is on. This one's coming in. He's running towards me. All right. Two in a row. Man, y'all are going to think I'm on the Potomac River or something. <laughs> All right, them two center rods are the ones that went down. Oh, he's swimming to the right. No, stay out of that line. Woo Let's go! Oh, he's on top of the water already. 
He must not be that big. But boy, did he slam that rod hard. He slammed it pretty good. Yeah, he's smaller than this one. I'm glad I got this one out the net because I can't boat flip this guy. He's still almost 10 pounds, if not over. Good net placement though. Please stay out of the engine. I don't feel like getting wet tonight. Digging mono out of the prop. I guess it wouldn't actually go in the prop. <clears throat> All right, he's in there. Woo <laughs> I'm trying not to scream into your ears, guys. But I'm super excited. Main channel provides, baby. I love it. Oh. Oh. Come on, baby. <laughs> I shoot, he might be about the same size. Oh, there goes number three. There goes number three. Oh, yeah. There goes number three, guys. This one's pulling. This one's pulling, guys. Got number three. Y'all, if you hadn't hit the thumbs up, come on. What you waiting on? We got three fish on. Woo! Yes, sir. If anybody's got my wife's number, text her, tell her we're on the fish. She likes to see him being pulled in. He's swimming towards me. Swimming upstream. I haven't got this second one out the net yet. Woo! Hear that demon dragon, baby. Alright, this one's not, he's not a monster, so. We gotta get this one out the net anyway. Holy moly. I'm watching the other rods. <laughs> like waiting for them to go down. Uh, I'm probably gonna have a teetotal mess down here. Oh my gosh. All right, so. Hopefully that one, that one doesn't come off. Yep, I know, I know, I know. Yes! Woo, baby, we on the fish right now. Should have signed up for that tournament. <laughs> Should have signed up for that tournament. You can't sign up for a tournament after you catch fish, though. That's not fair. All right, we own the fish. Glad I came over here instead of on the other side. I hear you down there. This is about the same size. Are y'all tri are y'all triplets? Are y'all in a gang? Ugh. Come on, swim, swim, swim in there. There you go. I think he's in there. Did I miss him or is he in there? Nope, I missed him. Man, if any of these are would be monsters, I probably don't lose them by now. That's a terrible net job. Got the current, trying to avoid the engine. And then the other reels and rods. All right. Oh no, spot lock, stay on. <laughs> that would suck. Oh man. All right, that's the biggest one actually. Holy moly, I got a mess, guys. I 
Got three nice fish. All of them probably go 20. Now that I can see them. No monsters, but man, them things are hitting hard, aren't they? Oh. All right. The net's ready for the fourth one. All right, guns, guns ready. You ready for the fourth one? <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I haven't had action like that in a while, guys. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. This is a healthy cat, man. Jeez. They are fat and thick. Mm. <laughs> All right, this is the last one. There's the last one, the one we just caught. Whew. Oh, she's here, good. We got three in a row, guys, if you're just coming in. I got three on the deck. Well, there's one. He's heavy, too. He's, he'll hit 20, definitely. All right, I'm going to let him out. That's on the uh, Nocturnal Nation Demon Dragon. I'll show you the rig. See ya. All right. That one was calling that Nocturnal Nation Demon Dragon, guys. The Brute. And uh, Nocturnal Nation. I got a green bead on there, too, from Nocturnal Nation. And a Nocturnal Nation hook. Tanot Eclipse circle hook. All right. This one's probably the smallest, the second one. Not by much, though. Ooh. Ooh, man. The hook went in, and it was coming out, and almost double hooked him. He wasn't going nowhere. I mean, that one was just caught on a Carolina rig, guys. No float on that one. Okay. <clears throat> All right, there's number two. This is the smallest one, the second one. Got a little sore on him there. That one was just caught on a regular Carolina rig with a Nocturnal Nation bead and, uh, and circle hook. All right, let him go. All right, make sure I get this out of the way. I don't want to get hooked. I'm trying to avoid some tangles too. There we go. All right, this last one was caught on a high fin blues demon dragon, the brute series. This was actually the first one caught. Ooh. There you go, there's number three. Or number one, I guess. Number one. Now I wanna go over 20 as well. So we got three cats, all of them about 20 pounds, tripled up. Well, almost tripled up. I had them on the deck. All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Oh.
That one was caught on the the High Fins Blue Brute Demon Dragon, Nocturnal Nation, Tenot. And then this one, I got the, uh, this one in that first one that I showed you, I got a um, chain swivel on there. Keep it from spinning. Man, these things are slimed up. All right, I know that was loud, I'm sorry. Just excited. Oh. All right, let me get some baits to put back on there, guys. Hit the thumbs up. I know, I know, come on. Ah. Hey, poking me. Oh, these baits are lively. Oh. Waiting on them other two rods to go down. <laughs> All right, got three big baits to go back on. All right guys, I got three big chunks. That's what I've been using. Woo, a lot of work. Like I said, fishing out the back of the boat, you don't have much room. And I still got to go to the front for bait. So I got to kind of shimmy past that tripod there. I think the, uh, I think the one with the Carolina rig was up on the bank, maybe, I don't remember. Let's go. Let's get another one. So this was the Carolina rig, guys. It's just a short leader. I got a three-way bump and swivel with a clip. Nocturnal Nation glow bead and a Nocturnal Nation hook on there. That's a 10 aught Eclipse. Big hook, I know, but works great. That was crazy. That first one hit right after I adjusted that camera. That was kind of cool. <laughs> How it hit like that. Like I turned it and it brought everything back and centered everything and then boom, he went down. Of course I was sitting down, which I never do, but I'm gonna sit down a lot more now. Wouldn't that have been crazy if all of them went off? Like, as soon as I got the next one in, the next one went down. Would have been pretty cool. I mean, that was pretty cool. I got something happening with this outside rod. I got to figure out. I don't know what's going on. Go ahead and reel that one up. Might just be a piece of grass on there. 
Yeah, it's a big chunk of grass. I'm actually surprised that didn't happen already. We'll reel this in and then chunk that one I just baited up on the outside back there. Yeah, the current has picked up, I can tell. <clears throat> oh, there's my line. <laughs> Grass and the pinky line. There we go. Oh, I don't like that sound. Gotta be careful, this trolling motor remote on my hip. I keep hitting the rail. The last thing I need is for that spot lock to stop. That would not be cool. All right. I figured the one out deep would go first, to be honest. TBH. I'm gonna reel this pink one in, cause it. There we go. All right, last one and I'm coming back to you guys. I think I might have crossed that one, I'm sorry. It's not gonna be color coordinated, but uh, maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll just leave it. All right, cool. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even know where I threw that phone. There it is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut out these lights, guys. So these bugs will leave me alone. All right, I'll be back in chat on my phone, sitting down, not paying attention to the rods. Not paying attention. <laughs> All right. All right. What's up, Sampy? How you doing, bud? All right. Yeah, I should probably take my remote off. That's a good idea. <laughs> should have done that standing up, but whatever. Okay. I don't know how far, I'm not gonna go back. If you made a comment while I was doing the fish thing, just to write it again if you want me to read it. Seen so you have a rattle line, how does that work for cat? Well, BSFD, I just caught three in a row. Um, if you scroll back just a little bit and two out of the three had, were on the rattles. Those are Demon Dragon Brute Series. There's a link in the description and a, and a discount code so you can save, save you some money. Basically, it's a Santee Cooper rig, and that float replaces the um, the peg float, and it rattles at the same time. I heard you yelling all the way in Texas. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yes, Brian Bree is the way. He's going to be using Andy Mono. This is um some of this is Andy, but most of it is Suffolk Superior. Are you fishing a nuclear plant? Your rods are glowing. <laughs> So before the triple, you said you were only going to fish for an hour. Does that change now? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. The move paid off. Oh, I absolutely. 
like I, this is always better fishing out here, but I just couldn't, like the tide was going out and they were running water, so I couldn't spot lock and I couldn't get anchored. And then there was boats galore. All right. Oh, the camera's not centered. You know, when I centered it last time, y'all know what happened. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that's better. That's way better. Okay. All right. Text me if there's more. Yeah. I'll let Michael Murillo probably text you. But now church is coming either way, guys. And it's, um, I'll probably fish till what? Let's start off with 10. 10.30. We'll go to 10.30. I didn't see the triple, but I did hear your excitement. Kratz, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Technically, it wasn't a triple because the fish were on the deck when the next rod went down. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Hardest part now is when does... When to pull the rods up and call it quits, yeah. Yeah, those are definitely swimming through together. They had to be. Tacos. Mm. Yeah, tacos might convince me to, to leave a little bit earlier too. Just saying. But it's not Tuesday. Oh, that's so awesome. So awesome. I really didn't have high hopes for today. I almost didn't come, so. And actually, before I went live, I was getting so frustrated with all the current in the boats that I almost just left. So the Lord, thank you, Lord, for providing. Just went back and seen the fish. Awesome, Kevin. Yeah, thanks, man. Hopefully we'll do it again in just a second. Getting my boat loaded up now for the morning. Me and Paul Paul are looking for a new PB. Yeah, man, I mean, the main channel's where it's at. Uh, I usually don't get skunked when I when I find a good current in the main channel. Now, if they're, if they're blowing, running water, it's almost impossible. But uh, definitely on regular tide swings like regular current in and out this is the best you caught more fish in five minutes than i caught in my last three trips well i've had those trips too fly wax gotta watch out for those gangs of cats they'll swarm you yeah man i'll hook them up eh pretty cool catch and release yeah did somebody say tacos that was a lot of fun action. Yeah, it was. Are you using black light? Yeah, I got three black lights. Uh, if you want to get you a black light, the link's in the description, guys. I finally remember to put it in there. We found some new deep holes in trout. Sweet. Get nervous about trying new spots. I I do too, um, but only because of YouTube. Like if it's just if I didn't film, hey Durbin, Devin. If I didn't do YouTube, I'd be more willing to try new stuff and i have actually uh me and fracture fix we went fishing in that storm uh that spot we caught the three catfish out of was was brand new and then we fished uh the next morning i should drop that video tomorrow hopefully uh, i might just hold it till tuesday i don't know but um we went to a second new spot in the morning and we caught two or three fish out of that hole too I'm learning how to read my side scan better. And, uh, well, I'm not really learning how to read it, just actually reading it and using it 
for what it was meant to be used for. She does have a green thumb. Yeah, I, I need some kind of light um, down on the water for this night vision stuff. I'm tapped out right now on buying stuff for YouTube though. I got I got these black lights and I got those corner tees. I was like, alright, that's it. I'm done for a while. Because I really need to save up money for trips. No, welcome Brian. Yeah, everyone's pretty cool. <laughs> We usually don't have too much riffraff in my channel. Hopefully we can get a few more fish here before I gotta go. I said earlier I was supposed to go. Hey, Jeremy, man. Uh, uh, we just tripled up. On, on about three 20 pound blues, 20 or so pound blues about 20 minutes ago. And uh, two of them hit the brute demon dragons, man. It was awesome. The rods were screaming. You're gonna make me go buy some street tacos. Thanks the pretty bunch. Yeah, I had quit live streaming for a while after uh, the catfish conference. There's just too too much drama, too much negativity, and then and the break did me pretty good, and uh, got my head back on straight and trying that trying it out again. Yeah, it was pretty cool, Jeremy. To I had just adjusted the camera and popped the you know sat down, and then the uh, the third one from your left, I think. Yeah, third one from your left went down. Got him in the boat. Then one over here on the right went down. Got him on the boat. And then the before I could even get him out the net, the third one went down. I was waiting on the fourth one. I had the, I had the guns out, the holsters ready to go. But we had, uh, we had been waiting on a chance to get out here in the uh, main channel and finally the the bass tournament weigh-in was at nine o'clock so once most of those guys went in it cleared out pretty good and the tide changed you gotta clear gotta clear your mind sometimes yeah yeah well my wife told me and i've i've repeated it over and over she said the moment you're not having fun uh, the moment you're not having fun is the moment you need to stop or take a break. And so that's kind of what I did. The live streams are really getting to me. And now I'm up live streaming. If you guys don't know, uh, Patriot James, he called me and uh, he said that he was going to quit his show on Wednesday nights. And he wanted to offer me the spot, which was really awesome. Like I felt really honored because Sunday nights are so hard. And you, you don't really have a big a big audience on Sunday nights either. You know, it's family time and church time. Uh, Wednesday nights are church time for some people too, but not as much as Sunday night. So um, I went on his show Wednesday, and he made an announcement, and I convinced him. I said, well, why don't you just call it a break? You take a break, and then if you're ready to come back, whenever you're ready to come back, the spot is yours. And I could always go to Sunday night. So he said, yeah, that sounded good. So anyway, I'll be back streaming uh, the show on Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys want to pop in there and uh, if I don't if I don't want to do a show, I'm just not going to do one. I'm not going to stress myself out. YouTube's not my um, YouTube's not my family. YouTube's not God and it's not my job. So, you know, 
hopefully every Wednesday I'll be able to do it, but I'm not going to stress myself out. Larry said, paint the parking lot for YouTube only. <laughs> oh, man. That's legit, man. Couldn't put me on them like that. Not that day. Hey, we got your, well, your PB until you broke it again. I've actually learned a lot since March, Jeremy, about this river. The more I fish it, which is obvious. I mean, that's how everything goes. The more you practice, the better you get. But I've learned a lot about this river and this spot lock. I, I had to get out, my, out of my mind that I didn't want to fish out the back of the boat. Because I like, no, I want to fish out the front of the boat. There's more room. There's more room. You know, it's more entertaining and I can do more stuff. But uh, once I got that out of my head and uh, things became easier fishing on the river. Now, this is a hard river to fish. If anybody's never fished it, there's a lot of grass and it's a tidal system. And uh, we're really close to the brackish water. So you get crabs and you get other wildlife that you probably would never have but um but yeah I, i've i've uh it's made it easier on me fishing out the back of the boat like normal people do good to have you back thanks brandon yes sir it's still an amazing day yeah I love that picture of us, our tummy pictures, <laughs> where our bellies are hanging out the bottom of the shirt. <laughs> oh, wow, it's, the moon's coming up behind the trees. That's pretty cool. You're looking forward to October in Palmetto Island. Me too, man. October's going to be jam-packed full of stuff. Uh, Steve Douglas will be on the show Wednesday night, um, so he'll be talking about the Kansas City Catfish Conference coming up. Palmetto Jinx, we tripled up about a half an hour ago. Maybe half, not even a half hour. Go back and check it out. It was pretty epic. We're talking about the Catfish Conference in Kansas City coming up in, uh, on October 7th. And then the next weekend is my birthday weekend. And I'll be doing the... Uh, me and Anna will be fishing a couples tournament on fields to water. There's still a bunch of spots. And that moon's coming up very quickly. That's kind of cool. Still a lot of spots, so go check it out. Yeah, full, new, full moon doing wonders. Um, and then the next weekend is the uh, camping trip, the Palmetto meet and greet. And then the next weekend is my tournament, my monster hunt tournament. Next month I have the um, ultimate angler tournament. I'm still looking for some more anglers for that. So if anybody's interested, send me a message. We'll do a, we'll do a live stream and explain how everything's going to work with that. It's pretty, it's convoluted. There's a lot of. A lot of ins and outs to it, but. Come on, fish. Anybody out there fishing this fishing tournament? This cat fishing tournament on the Cooper? Is JTC watching? I passed JTC and Swamp Donkey and and uh, they're fishing up earlier, up, up, up river a little bit. If you go back about 25 minutes, that's when the fish were caught. Thanks, Brandon. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. That was a slow takedown. Oh, this one's got some weight, guys. Ooh, this one might be a monster, guys. I don't know. Ah, oh, there, there goes the rolls. Dang it. 
He's a nice one though. He's got some weight to him. This might be a flathead, guys. One thing's for certain, he's got this other line wrapped up. He's staying down. This might be a big one. I don't know. I haven't caught a big one for so in so long I forget how they feel. <laughs> He's rolling. I don't think he's a blue cat. He's still got some weight to him though. It could be the current too, I don't know. We'll see. He's right here behind the boat. Oh, it's a flathead. It ain't a monster, but that's why he was... Whoa! I think it's a flathead. I can't see, guys. Oh, he's digging. Uh, he's digging. Man, these rods are awesome. The current's pretty strong too, guys. That's that uh, hit on the brute. Woo! I don't know. I think he's a blue, guys. I think he's a blue cat. He's fighting like a flathead, though. It's a blue. Freaking mud motors. All right, I got him. I got him. Woo! Oh. That was a good fight in that current. That was a good fight in that current. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I get some good fish tonight, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a 30 all day. Woo, hey Lori. Make sure they don't knock you over. I can't stand those guys, man. I know that ain't Christian to say, but I'd rather deal with a bass boat all day than them guys. They don't, they don't operate by any rules. They just go wherever they want, in and out of rice fields, and they're gonna kill somebody one day. Yeah, this one, this one's a big one. Ugh. It'd be 30 easy. Easy 30. Hadn't caught a 30 in a while. Ugh. Feels good. Is good. Man, he fought like a flathead. Uh, I guess he, he did roll a little bit, so I guess not really like a flathead. But then he came up and he's, his head's huge, so I thought flathead for real. It's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh. 
Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he's slimy good. Ooh, he's heavy. There we go, guys. Big old head on him. There we go. Yeah, he'll go 30 all day, baby. Oh, nice fish. I want to see if we can get a better, better view of him. I'll keep him out the water for a minute longer. Oh, Whew. yeah. There we go. That's a good one. Biggest one I've caught in a while. Huge head on him. There we go. <laughs> nice one. Raw. Ah, <laughs> big male cat. He's stinky. All right, guys. I've abused him enough. Oh, he is not, he's rolling. Uh, let go of the, let go of the grippers. Let go. There you go. Whew. All right, be prepared. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Another good one. That's one of the rigs I just threw back too, guys. That joker is slimed up. And he slimed me up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm stupid. Get me another bait. Using nothing but big cuts of bluegill tonight, guys. That's it. I only got blue big baits out. I don't, didn't do any small ones. Now, I thought that he had that pink rod hung up because it was doing a lot of dancing around. So I wonder what that's all about. Probably should check, right? Probably should check and see what that's all about. And yeah, maybe he did have it for a minute. Yeah, he did. Get some grass. Grass on deal. Let's change this bait. I'll change that bait. That's not. That was one of them big fillets of one of them big brim, and the blood's all gone out of that one. But we can go ahead and throw this one out. Get it back fishing again. Right on. I like that slow takedown. Like that one didn't even pull drag. It was like he ate it and then he's like, oh, I'm gonna go this way now. 
I wonder what's over here. <laughs> what's up, Guerrero? Right. So I'm just using these big hand size chunks of uh, bluegill here. These river fish love brim. They love them. I don't like that hook. There we go. There we go. That's money, dude. I'm gonna see if I can't. Oh. I'm not really sure where that one went. <laughs> By the looks of this rod flipping over, I think it probably went on top of it. So we'll just move that one right there. A little bit, a little bit of backlash there, not much. All right, get that tightened up. All right, we're all fishing again. Yes, good night. Grab me another water. That cotton mouth. <sighs> All right, I'll go back and look at the comments here. Let's get set back up. Hey, Muddy River catfishing. I just heard something flop over there. I thought I... Yeah. All right. We're looking good. Tony Harrison, Boom Squad member for 14 months. What's up, Tony? Chris Flores is in Tennessee visiting his new grandbaby. All right, is that is that centered? Uh, I gotta wait until it catches up. Oh man, this current is bussing now, boy. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, we're sitting down, catfish. <laughs> So uh, I saw Steve caught a big one, was it yesterday or today? I guess y'all weren't on the boat with him. And I saw your lady caught a nice one and Alex caught a nice one. I love football season. I get the lake all to myself. <laughs> well, it's been a rough one today, man. We had, uh, thanks G Wit. We had a bass tournament uh, weighing in when I got here this afternoon and then we had another bass tournament lying lining up to uh, To put in and then we have the there's this catfish tournament out here right now Yeah, he's got a grandbaby. He's a teat. What's that? What is it? Tita? Tata something like that Let's see, let the games begin. Something's flipping up here. I think I gotta 
I got one of my, um, I'm an official old man. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I think I got one of my, my baits flipping, like flipped out of the tank or something. I keep hearing him flipping like he's telling me. Or maybe that's just his head. Yeah, poor fella. That's just his head. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm still here. I'm still alive, eh? I'm still alive, eh? You can't kill me yet. I'm invincible. <laughs> he doesn't have a body. All right. Hmm. Thank you, Uncle Jeep. I guess you're not fishing the coffee can. No, I'm just fishing for YouTube. Part of me wishes I would have entered now. <laughs> That's all right. I, I was not in a good headspace when I got out here. It's a zombie fish. I was not in a good headspace out here and uh, until I went live. I, actually, when I went live, I, I don't know if those of you who were in here, if you could tell, I still wasn't all the way there. Heading to bed. All right, man. Yeah, I'm... I mean, unless these fish cut me off, I'm headed that way here soon. I gotta get up early and go serve the Lord at church, happily and joyfully. I haven't seen much caught as of yet. Team drop off, are you in the tournament? I just got four in, we got three Three that would have broke 20, and then the last one would have been about 30 pounds. No, I won't be down till September. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw Mark and, and Daniel. They caught about a 15-pounder right in front of me when I was at the, the other spot. And then they were talking about somebody caught one about 30 earlier ralph just posted a pb in the boat what nice oh for ralph that must be a big fish the muddy river clan got an all new pbs oh sweet right on man right on i know that made steve happy too i know he's super happy Hey, Chris, if you want, um, I don't know, you're probably busy. I don't know if you'll be back home. But uh, Steve's going to be on the show Wednesday night talking about Catfish Conference. If you want to pop in, I'll send you the link. Well, I'll send you the link regardless, and you can hop in if you have time. Got 81 folks in here. How many thumbs up do we got? Let me refresh it. 128 awesome yeah no problem no no pressure man just saying we hadn't had you on the show in a while i hadn't had a show in a while regardless but i'll be down for three weeks in september going to doing king cat soc cc pleasure nice i was thinking about doing the the club tournaments this year i just i get so busy i get so busy that i you know and if you miss one you can't if i want to do it i want to be competitive you know and if you miss a tournament then even if you don't catch fish if you do all the tournaments you get points you got to come down to florida and fish on the surf that'd be cool there's only seven you get one by, yeah. Yeah, I have the schedule. Yeah, 
It's crazy. I've caught four four nice fish in the stream, and uh, I got less people watching than when I got skunked that one time. <laughs> I think Tim uh, Tim and them epic catfish are alive too. I'm sure there's a bunch of people. Oh yeah, the river rats, Mississippi river rats, hog leg. Who else? Probably others too. Saturday's a popular night. Brian B. Black Tip H is down there. If you fished with him before, Brian Bree. Sorry. I got crickets on the boat I used to catch bait with earlier. So they're they're providing some ambiance. Big old grass island. Please don't get in my line. Steer clear. Firecracker, we got four. I don't know when's the last time you were in. Well, we had a triple up. We had three. I mean, I guess you call it a triple up. I got one in the boat and then the next rod went down. Got him in the boat, and the next rod went down. All three of those were over 20 pounds. And then I just caught another one that was about 30 pounds. Big old stinky male with a big head. And you know, I'm just guessing these weights, you know, I, they're probably, I'm just guesstimating based on my experience. I don't really care how much they weigh. If they don't, if they don't break my PB, I don't care. You know, far from, uh, you know, from our last combo. You know, from our last convo, I am paying attention to the river. All right, cool. I wonder now, I'm wondering what Ralph's PB was. Was it a PB flathead or a PB blue cat? I want a PB. <laughs> has not stated yet. yeah i figured he's probably not gonna let anybody know until they weigh in but i'm not waiting around till midnight it's 10 18 i got about 15 more minutes and if i haven't caught how about this every time i catch a fish i'll add 15 minutes Uh, no, we, we hadn't done trot lines in a long time. I used to do trot lines in the, in June with my dad. But they changed the laws on them. You have to have, you can only have 50 hooks or something like that. And dad just liked to want, run like one or two big long ones. And we, we'd do it, we'd run them like one weekend. And then that was it. We'd lift them up. But that's that's kind of how my dad got me and I got our catfish. You know, we didn't really fish for them. I mean, we did every once in a while. But uh, we'd set trot lines in the summer. And we'd check those, clean them up, and put them in the freezer. And we were good till next year, you know. Oh, fish on! Oh! Ah, uh, they let go? Yeah, you let go. Man. There goes that 15 minutes. <laughs> that must have been a small one. Wonder if he ripped the bait off. Nope, bait's still on there. Hook buried back into the bait though. This way I didn't hook up. Shoot. Hate that. Hate it when that happens. It's that old muddy river brute. Oh. 
Always sucks to lose a fish, but not as bad tonight. <laughs> not as bad tonight. All right, back in the saddle, ready for action. Oh. Right. Keeping me on my toes. Nope, that doesn't count as 15 more minutes. <laughs> there we go. We're dropping like flies in here. Where's everybody at? YouTube is dead tonight. Uh-oh. Middle rod just got hit. So is he going to come back and take it? See, I don't like that. I don't like them small ones moving in like that. We hear you. <laughs> Gee whit, I don't do guide services. In South Carolina, you have to have a captain's license and insurance and all that stuff, and it's just not worth it for me. Plus, honestly, I have a hard time catching fish myself. You know, I did pretty good tonight so far, but, you know, that doesn't happen all the time. And that's partly because I work so much. I don't even know when I'd have time to guide. It'd be like one Saturday a week. I wouldn't be able to do any, wouldn't be able to do any scouting or anything like that. It'd just kind of be like, you know, hey, let's go fishing and, you know, whatever we can find, we can find. Those guys that are serious guys, they, um, you know, they scout, they fish, pre-fish, and know what's going on. They're really in tune with the water, mostly because they do it, you know, as part of their income. But nope, just a, just a struggling YouTuber. Thanks, Grady. Yeah, I'm not in the tournament, but uh, I think the fish I caught maybe it would do pretty good if it's a three fish bag i'd probably have 75 pounds right now i don't know how i mean somebody got a ralph apparently got some kind of pb in the boat but that's only one fish <laughs> But if you uh, come down to Santee Cooper and you want a guide, I can definitely put you in touch with somebody. There's plenty of awesome guides down here. Some of them I know, you know, not, I know them. I don't know them personally, like I have a personal relationship with them, but I know who they are. Yeah, I think it's a three fish weigh in. Most of them are. I hear somebody from across the river yelling. Oh yeah, somebody got a good one. I hear him whooping and hollering. <laughs> That's good, somebody got a good fish.
Oh, there we go. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Woo! Fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh, he's pulling. Uh, he's pulling. It's on Pinky. That's the first time I caught a fish on this pink rod. Let's go. Fish number five. Yeah, he's not too big. Not like the other one. Or he's swimming towards me, maybe that's, that's what it is. It's really hard to tell in this current, you know, the current's pretty strong. He's cooperating though. He's swimming right in between the lines. Oh, I spoke too soon and he went out outside. He's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. He does not want to come in, which, you know, you can't blame him. All right. Ooh. Oh. I think the outside rod's about to go down, guys. That looks like grass on that one. Other pinkies just got, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like grass on the other pinky. Woo! All right. Decent one. Come on up, Bubba. Come on up. Another blue cat. 20 or so. Man, netting these fish in this current is difficult. Nope, missed him. <laughs> Come on up, swim. Swim. I think I got him. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna knock this fish off the hook, I know it. Oh Lord. Oh. oh my gosh, I can't net him. Yeah, definitely need some gunnel lights or something. Ugh. Current is so strong. Ugh. All right. Woo. <laughs> you know it's difficult when you can't net one in the current with the monster rod holder net. Woo. That's an HD80, that's a big net. Right, good fish. <clears throat> He's about the size of the the second one I caught, second or third one. Healthy, healthy cats. Healthy, healthy cats. <laughs> nice. Oh, we're doing good tonight, guys. <clears throat> huh. 
Oh yeah, he wasn't going nowhere. The hook got him good. Ugh. That was another one on the Carolina rig. There you go, another nice one, guys. There he is. Good fish. All right, I'm gonna get him back in. Right on, baby. What was that? That was weird. We'll leave it right there, a little short cast. Never know, there might be one right there. All right, I already got another bait cut. Number five, baby. This juicy one was just, that's the one that was up there flapping. Hook him up. Aight, aight, aight. This thing ain't even on full blast. What you doing, Willis? Have to figure out why that thing's not on full blast. All the rest of them are. All right, yes. Thank you, Jeremy. All right, now that another 15 minutes, so that means I gotta stay out here till 1045. We going to church tomorrow. You need some sleep. <laughs> I got to go to church. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I know. Sounds like Brinkley. Three fish way in. Yeah. Hey! What's up, Dave? Yeah, man, we're having a good night. We just pulled in... Uh, Fish number five, and all of them have been really, really healthy catfish. The biggest one is over 30 pounds. I think he's around 30 pounds anyway. So we're having a good night. <laughs> Better sleep an extra five in the plate tomorrow. <laughs> 
Yeah, we got five. We're gonna go to 1045. Got 10 minutes. 10. Just waiting a big 50 pounder to hit. 60 pounder. Yeah, we were set to 15 minutes, so we were going till 1030, so now we're going to 1045. So that adds an extra 15. That's awesome. I missed it. Been staying busy guiding. I see. I see your pictures, man. I don't know if there's any more fish left in that lake. You keep taking your clients out, tearing it up. Night, firecracker. I think Andy's PB was 61 and he caught it on Rouse boat tonight, so it must be bigger. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I see him. I saw their boat. I saw his blue lights. Or no, that's not Ralph. Ralph doesn't have blue lights. That's um JP or somebody like that. But you can see, you can you can see the boats all around. Uh, good night, G. Wit. You can see the light shining everywhere. Adjust the camera again. <laughs> uh, uh, good night. I'm glad I came out now. Some good fish. Especially that 30 pounder. I hadn't caught one in the 30s in a in a while. Well, since since that flathead, I got a PB flathead in March, so a 43 pounder. I think the last big blue I caught before that, like big blue, was um in October. I caught one in the 50s. That was off the bank in like three feet of water. Yeah, I definitely love love how, you know, I mean, the lake is fine and dandy, but, but man, these you see how these fish hit. I mean, they hit in this current and they just slam the rod down. Like, I just, I love it, man. You know, you they hit so hard, and you think you got like a world record on there. It's a good test of these rods too. These medium heavy rods are handling them pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Trolling motor doing pretty good too. I did some maintenance on my trolling motor. I, I hadn't yet changed the wires out. I need to change the wires. Some heavier gauge wires. But um, I took the prop off and made sure that the, uh, you know, all the line and stuff was out of it. We are all glad you came out tonight. I think it's just what you need to put a smile on. Yeah, I needed it for sure. It's been a rough week. It's been a real rough week, and today wasn't looking like it was going to be much better. So, I am too, Brandon.
You know, you can't you can't go back and change the past, but the only thing about today I wish I would have changed is how I handled that situation in the parking lot. You know, they were rude and inconsiderate and uh, they need to be put in their place, but it wasn't my, my place to do it. So, you know, that's somebody that, you know, if they ever see me again, they, that's, that's all they know of me. That's all they, that's all they experienced from me. And then, you know, if they ever heard that I was a Christian, they're like, oh, well, that's how Christians are, then blah, blah, blah. Because that's how the lost world reacts, you know. The lost world thinks that Christians are supposed to be perfect. And that we're supposed to never make mistakes and never lose our cool and all that. But it's quite the opposite. We're, we're just as bad as everybody else. The difference between us is that we're forgiven of the way we act as long as we repent and ask for forgiveness. And I've already done that today about that situation. So, but him and that girl, I don't know if they know Christ or not, but if they don't and they ever see me again or if they see the channel or whatever, thanks, Joe. Yeah, Mike, uh, Mike Marilla and I do a podcast. Um, most weeks and it's called the real deal fishing podcast we got a youtube channel for that too and we post we uh excuse me Ugh. we do the live taping for our for my um membership here on youtube so they can watch it live and watch the recording and then we put it on all the podcast channels but then we put the uh recording on another youtube channel called uh the real deal fishing podcast Anyway, so we were talking about um, Tim Scott, Epic Catfish, who lost his son earlier this year. And uh, a couple weeks ago, he went fishing for the first time in a while and took his other son and his best friend, Sean. And it was really, really emotional time, you know, because, you know, they're getting out there. He's putting himself out there in front of people. Um, and so we talked about that on the podcast and they ended up catching, they said a hundred pound blue cat, which is amazing. And, uh, we kind of said kind of what you did, Brandon, like, or Joe, we said that it's like, you know, we, uh, we're like, yeah, you know, God, God blessed that night. And, uh, God knew that, you know, they needed that inspiration. They needed to get back to where they were and they needed to know that his presence was real. And so we talked about that and this guy commented like on the link that I shared and it was like, he's so disappointed that we would um, talk about God in that way that, you know, God lets the people die in the Ukraine, but no, he was there for those boys to catch them big fish. And uh, he went on to say that we were indoctrinating children and all this foolishness. And at first I replied to it and I screenshotted the reply and sent it to Mike. And I went back and I deleted it. And I just said, thanks for listening. God bless you. Because, you know, I know and God knows and Mike knows that you know, we weren't trying to indoctrinate anybody. And it's a, you know, listen or don't listen. You you don't have to comment. But, uh, you know, God can be everywhere. God is everywhere. And people always complain about Christians, how they talk about, you know, God in a way that where he's good. But then they say he lets, you know, kids die in schools or, people die in war and all this and you know my my response to that is we took God out of the school a long time ago God's not welcome in this school you know God's not welcome in a lot of places where destruction happens and uh, you know but he gets blamed for that 
And number two, if he does allow it to happen, if he does allow it to happen, he, he's got a plan for it. It's not, it's not tasteful to us because it's not our plan. It's not something we created. We can't see the end goal. We don't know what's going to happen. And so to say that, you know, God is bad because he lets this happen and not this is just false. You know, I, I'm not a Bible scholar. You know, I, don't, I can't remember every verse and, and remember and recall verses to, you know, every little situation like some people can. You know, some people that are paid to do it. And then some people that have made a life out of studying scripture. But I, I know from what I've read and from what I understand that God has a bigger plan than any of us, any, any individual. You know? So, anyway, that, that's a long way of saying, long roundabout way of saying that you know, I need to I need to do my best to represent God in my in my best way. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen more more often than not more often than you guys probably know. Um, you know, I'll I'll lose touch with that. And I always ask for forgiveness and I try to repent and not do it again. I think that's all we can ask of ourselves. And, you know, I, I'm we're we're our worst critic. I'm I'm harder on myself. But um, it, it keeps me straight. All right, let's see. The good Lord works mysterious ways. Fracture fix. You have not because you have not asked. And you have not. And you have not because you ask and miss. Yeah, so, you know, you. Ooh, I just saw some. So. I'm sorry, I'm looking at them lines. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. It's very true. God is not the author of conferring fusion. Thank you for your night of fishing in God. It's good. Yes. They should put God back in the schools. There. Yeah. I, I don't understand that line of thinking either. Any look? Hey, Has. Yeah, we caught five so far. We got four in the 20 pound range and one in the 30 pound range. Does have a plan for all of us. You still to it. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I have a good testimony. I just, you have to, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of responsibility. And I don't think people should take being one of God's children uh, lightly, you know. You're one of God's children, so you represent God whether or not you want to or not. And so if you go into a situation where, you know, you're running your mouth and you're acting out of character and just showing out, and then you ask for, you know, you're still forgiven for it. You know, you, for, you know as long as you ask and you repent, you're forgiven. But, uh... But, you know, those people that you made that impression on will never forget that. That's why it's hard to be a teacher. Not everyone can be a teacher. Not everyone can be a preacher. You know, a lot of people, when they get done with their jobs, they can go home. They can go home, be who they want to be. They can act a fool on social media. They can treat people how they want to treat them. And then they can still have their jobs when they get back, you know. It's different for us. And that that's the same way, you know, as a Christian, I try to think about my life as, you know, I represent God. So if I go out there and act stupid and cuss and flip people off and, ooh, a shooting star. Squirrel. <laughs> I just saw a shooting star. If I believed in that stuff, I'd be going crazy right now. Um, but anyway. I don't even know what I was talking about. The wages of sin is death. Sin is, is the cause of shootings, wars, and death. That's right. That's right. 
But you know that that guy that commented, he's not he's not wanting rational thought. He's not wanting anybody to explain it to him. He's not trying to understand anything. He just wants he wants to get a rise out of somebody. He wants somebody to say something. He wants somebody to pop off. So I, I responded and then I deleted it and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to give you the pleasure of doing that. Ooh, it's 10.50. We might as well go to 11, guys. We'll go to 11. But then we got to go, folks. Because it's going to take me 30 minutes to get on the ramp on the on the trailer and another 10 to get uh, home and unpack and all that stuff look at them glow yes sir them anvil rods I also got a let loose about 20 brim that I got in there. Yeah, we've had a good night of fishing, guys. The rods, rods are dancing. Things have kind of slowed down a little bit. As soon as we got to this spot, I don't know, what was it, like 10 minutes? Boom, 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 three in a row. All of them over 20 pounds. Then we had a break for about 20 minutes and then boom, 30 pounder. I even said, Brian B and Haz, if you're still listening, I said, people gonna start thinking I'm on the Potomac River out here. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we had our fifth one not too long ago, about 20 minutes now. And that one was over 20 pounds, so. If I was in this tournament tonight, we'd have a 75 pound bag, easy. But apparently somebody's caught a new PB out here tonight. So that, that's probably going to be, from what somebody was saying, that's probably over 60 pounds. Thought you were going home. I I am. I I was talking about God and I got distracted, and so 10:45 went by. So we got we're gonna go to 11. So we got about seven minutes. I also want to get out of the water before all the rest of the boats get back to do that weigh in. It's a coffee can, so they only pay in first place. Oh yeah. You are forgiven for my friend. Oh yeah, I I know that. I took care of that as soon as I got on the water and calmed down a little bit. It'll be a good first place though, yeah. I saw about six or seven boats. Maybe 10, so about a thousand bucks, I guess. I'll be interested to see what wins it. Yes, sir. Sure, sure is a pretty bunch. I'll be I'll be curious to see what wins it. I I don't care. I've had such a good good night in this spot. I didn't think we were gonna catch anything. Oh, I'm forgiven for being late. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if my uh, my production crew will forgive me though if I'm late in the morning. Uh oh, somebody's playing some country music over there. Hey Brian, we're um, in the Cooper River. We're on the Monk's Corner side. So oh, that's one of the mud motors. Uh, 
I swear these guys like put a homing beacon on my boat. Uh, we got five, Chris. We got four 20s, 20 somethings, and a 30 something. Amen, John. Yeah, I know. I don't want to be sitting at the ramp. I already got to walk 10 miles to get to my truck. That's okay. Oh yeah, great night. Great night. I was, I was, I knew, I knew we'd catch something once we got in the channel. We just had to wait for all the boaters to get by and for them to stop running so much current. So we could actually keep a line down. Oh man, big takedown. Oh man. Right here, that short one I threw, guys. Ooh. Uh, short rod I threw right beside the boat. I don't know if y'all remember me doing that. Oh man, he slammed it. He's up under the boat. Oh, I'm trying to turn the camera a little bit. Oh, he's pulling hard. He is sucked to the bottom. Come on, be a flathead. Please be a flathead. Oh yeah. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see it. These guys better stay away from me. He's up under the boat. He don't want to come up. Nice blue. I thought he was a flathead. Nice blue cat. He's fighting like, he's fighting like crazy. All right, buddy. Muddy River Brute. Don't take off. Big spawned out male. He's not terribly big, but he fought like a champ. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fish number six. I'm gonna close this door so he don't slime his way out of there. And that was a huge takedown. I guess because it, uh, it was right there beside the boat. Almost suspended, really. He couldn't stand the sound of that brute, baby. He's like, I gotta have me some baby rattle. <laughs> I 
Yeah, he's he's all jacked up. I hear you. Give me a second. All right. It's a good fish. Another one over 20. Not a monster though. He got a big old head on him. That's the second one I thought was a flathead. First one, or that 30 pounder acted that way too. Just kind of sucked to the bottom. Didn't want to come up. Muddy River Brute. Ooh, that Muddy River one glows in the dark. Uh, he's skinny, but he's still, still a good one. Here you go. Number six. There he goes. Yeah, his fins all busted up. He's got all kinds of little parasites all over him. Whew, okay. There he goes. Whew. Yes. Good fishing. Good fishing. All right. It's 11.02. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay live while I do a pack up. If you're just coming in, I'm sorry you missed a good night of fishing. Hey Tom. But uh, we got, I'm ending it right now. Well, I'm gonna reel up the rod. As soon as I reel up the rods, I'm gonna pray and get out of here. But that's fish number six. Yeah, that's a big head on him. I gotta leave. I gotta leave, guys. I got a, I got commitment in the morning to, to church, so I gotta go. All right, I'm gonna reel up. Got two on the pinky rods today. Got five fish in the 20 pound range. One fish in the 30 pound range. There's another shooting star. Man, it's like the world coming to an end or something. I'm catching fish on a live stream and they're shooting stars. <laughs> the world's ending. A little bit of grass on this one. Lots of activity on the river tonight. Big baits did the trick tonight, guys. I usually try to mix it up. Also caught two fish on the Carolina rig, so had a mix of rigs out there. So that both were effective though. Obviously the Santee rig with the demon dragon on it was the was the more successful rig. But you can't blame them for that. Oh, this one's got a ton of grass. I can't wait till these anvil rods come out, guys, so you guys can try one out. Like you can, because they're graphite, whenever the fish is rolling down there or makes a head turn, you feel everything. That's what bumping rods are made out of. Bumping rods are graphite. So you can even use these rods for bumping. And I also, also do want to try their S-glass rods. That's what we're waiting on. Waiting on the S-glass rods to come in. That way he's got the full lineup. That baby rattle boy, that thing's so loud. 
it's almost annoying sometimes like when you're moving around and when a boat comes by and you get shaken and you've got the rods out the water them rattles go to rattling you're like shut up <laughs> too much noise but yeah those of you who are still in here guys i i believe in the products that i use and all except for the rods you can find discount codes for my reels and my um, hooks and the demon dragons in the description also my black lights are in the description if you want to join the boom squad and help me monetarily um, that helps too helps me pay for gas and uh, you know I got all the equipment I need so basically you're helping me with fuel needs as y'all know fuel is outrageous that's part of the reason I didn't sign up for the the tournament tonight is because it's a hundred dollars to sign up for the tournament and I spent over a hundred dollars in fuel between the truck and the boat so if you're wondering what the boom squad is you know it's just a membership program I think the smallest level is like four ninety nine a month or something like that goes all the way up to, to $50 a month. But uh, Google, you know, YouTube gets 30% of that, but the rest of it comes to me. I think we got about 35 members. You get special perks, like I'll, I'll post the videos to the membership page before I make them public so you can you can watch them and you know it's really helped it really helped me out too i think one of my videos i forgot to put scripture on and uncle jeep reminded me he said hey you didn't put the scripture on this one so i went back and re-edited it and put the scripture on it and also you know i can get feedback you know obviously most of my boom squad members or all the boom squad members really like what i do so they don't give me too much criticism but it would be welcomed if they thought something wasn't working. So anyway, that's my little spiel. Ugh. Not required, obviously. All right, last, last rod. Hold. Last one coming in. No fish on it. Got a wad of grass though. That was a good takedown for that last fish, man. I just, I know you probably didn't see it, but that rod bent down and touched the water almost. <laughs> it was crazy. It's crazy cool. All this grass, holy moly. Holy moly ravioli. Right. That is the last rod. Got some goober stuff around there. Have to get that later. Grab these black lights here. Shut her down. So I guess I can show you these real quick. If you're interested in getting some of your own. Holy moly. John, you didn't have to do that, man. Thank you so much. Wow, I can't, my hands are wet. Thank you, John. Got uh, battery operated black lights. And uh, they just switch off with this thing right here. Boom, that's it. Oop. I didn't mean for you to donate, John. I was just going through a little spiel there. It says, money back guarantee, you brag on God. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you to Jeep, and um, those who are able to donate Jeep, and, and John Fracture Fix, and Bex, no real loss, I appreciate that.
All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for an awesome night. Thank you for bringing me out of my funk. Uh, Lord, you know I needed this night. I just needed I needed it. And um, Lord, I just pray you'll be with me as I go about the week and help me wake up for church in the morning. Lord, keep me safe on the way back. And Lord, I thank you for such an amazing group of supporters, uh, those who trust in God and those who are just learning about it. And anybody new to the channel, I just thank you for all that you bless me with. I give you all the glory and honors. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. Till next time. Happy fishing.